and this is another episode of Let's Draw Race Cars. I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, you know, the NASCAR team. Well, we're only racing online on the computer these days, much like you, where most of us are stuck at home, having to make the most of working from home. And so we thought we would have some fun and start this race car drawing lesson show. It's pretty fun. I'm having a good time. I have a background in art, and so it's been fun to rekindle that. How about you? You like drawing? You like drawing race cars? Well, this is episode 11. I can't even count them on my fingers anymore. That means we've been doing this for two weeks already. Every weekday at noon, Eastern Time, we do one of these fun drawing lessons. Today, we're drawing Denny Hamlin's number 11 FedEx NASCAR race car. Bum, 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 bum. We're going to do a special angle of the car we've never done before. One of my favorite angles, all-time favorite angles. So get ready for that. You know, in the past we've drawn the FedEx car from a different angle and we've drawn some FedEx boxes and the FedEx truck. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, today, it's a special angle. And then we're going to draw Denny Hamlin's Daytona 500 trophy. Because this is a very cool trophy. And he's won it twice. Can you believe that? Twice. So since it's episode 11, and Denny is driver number 11, of course, we're going to do a Denny Hamlin show. We're going to have to wait a little longer to get to the rest of our guys, though. Don't worry, we'll draw their cars soon before that, okay? Maybe even the uh, Skittles race car or the, or the Craftsman race car again. You never know. Of course, don't forget about Bass Pro Shops. There's nothing better than getting in the outdoors. It's a good way to social distance out on the lake or something, right? All right, so get your drawing materials ready. I'm going to show some pictures here of things we've drawn already in the past 10 episodes. One of my favorites, this Lightning McQueen drawing. Go back on YouTube or some of your other favorite social networks and find the episodes. You can find out how we drew Lightning McQueen. And you can turn them any color, you know. That's the cool thing. We drew some flags. Well, you can see them, right? There you go. The racing flags. Anybody remember what they all stand for? How about the Toyota Supra we drew? That was pretty fun. We've drawn a lot. These are some of your drawings. Here's some of my drawings I showed earlier. Kyle Bush's car. There's a portrait of Coach Gibbs and his family, JD and Coy. We're just having a lot of fun drawing. We drew a wheel. We drew the Bass Pro Shops Camry. We drew Kyle Bush's car. All these episodes are available out there to you. We drew a DeWalt Impact Wrench and a helmet and the DeWalt race car. All sorts of fun things. But today, we're going back to the Denny Hamlin car. So let's get started. You ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm going to get my black marker, but it's going to be really light because I want to draw a guideline. <sighs> Clean off my iPad there. By the way, you don't have to draw with an iPad, right? Pencil, paper, crayons, markers, anything you want is what you can draw with. I just happen to use this because it's easier for me. All right, so I want you to draw the ground line. There you go, straight line. Well, I should say as straight as you can possibly get it. As you see, mine is not very straight, but you know the ground, it's a little rough. It has some terrain, right? Good. All right, now what we're going to do, let's see if I can get this angle in your screen right for what we're going to do. We're going to draw it as if you're almost laying on the ground, looking at the cart like that. Look at that, I'm going to even put it on my line here. We're going to do something like that, really low to the ground. Got it? All right. So what we're going to have to do here, this is going to be a little tricky, but we can do it. You remember how we always fit our car in a box, kind of like it's a wood block? Well, we got to do that again. But first thing we need to do is draw a line right about here. And it's going to go up. All right. Very good. This is going to be a crazy angle, but it's going to make the car look really powerful. And then back here, not as far over as, see I left some space over here? That's okay. Draw it up, but only go about halfway up as tall as that line is. You understand? So if that one is that high, that one's only about half, maybe a little, little more than half. Okay? Now this one's going to be in between the three, the two of them. So it's going to be just a little bit shorter than that one, but a little bit taller than that one. So we got line A, we got line B, and we got line C. A is the tallest, 
B is second tallest, and C is about half of A. Got it? While you're getting those in place, I'm just going to check out some comments. Because I really like seeing what y'all are doing out there. We get so many great art submissions of things you've drawn. Send me what you drew over the weekend. I want to put it on the show here. Let's see who's out there watching on the Joe Gibbs Racing social media channels. By the way, if you're just joining, I'm Boris. Another week, getting ready here. Stuck inside, but we're drawing. We're making the most of it. We're having fun. This is my Gibbs gaming hat, for those asking. This is Joe Gibbs gaming. Since we're doing iRacing and eSports now, that's the hat I'm wearing, okay? And then I figured I'd just wear this patriotic tie-dye shirt. Feeling, getting Monday kind of pumped up, you know? We've got Tony watching again. Amy's watching again. Devin's watching again. Don't worry, Devin. Doesn't matter if you're, if you're late. You can always rewind, right? Well, we're having fun out there. Okay, you got your lines? Good. Now, we're probably going to erase these lines later. If you can't, that's okay. We're just practicing, right? We're learning. All right, now you need to connect them. So connect B to A as straight as you can. doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to just shave a lot of that away. Then connect A to C. Now, I wish I had a ruler. I don't have a ruler. I do have my, uh, my old Jeff Gordon uh, coffee mug here. I'm bringing some tea. You know, old Jeff Gordon mug. I was a big Jeff Gordon fan. But uh, no ruler. So just make the line as straight as you can. Doesn't really matter if it's crooked. We'll get over it. We'll survive. All right. Now, you see how this car is going to look? This is pretty much the door. Right there. Now I have to draw a little roof in there. Now I'm going to look at my car again and get an angle here. All right. I see where we're going here. I see where we're going. All right, I want you to start right about here. See that? Maybe if I draw it in red, you'll be able to see it. That's where we're going to start. And we're going to draw an angled line. The angled line is going to go up like this. See that? See how it's at an angle? Very nice. Now we need another one. Back here. Start it there. And go at a little bit of a sharper angle. See how they're coming together like this? Kind of like the roof of a house. Very nice. This is going to be a great look at this car. I know it's a little hard to see where it's going now, but you're going to like it. Finally, connect the two. Now you see how we have a roof? Very good. All right, one last line here for our guiding box. This is how it works. You see that first dot up there, that first angled line right there? We're going to connect that to line A, okay? Like this. Line A. So now you have a triangle in here. You see this triangle you've made? I'm going to fill it in black because believe it or not, that is our windshield. All the windshields we've drawn from, from this time before this time have looked like this. You saw the whole windshield. Now we're just seeing a little tiny corner of the windshield that makes a triangle. It's all about perspective, right? Perspective. Now you probably wouldn't see this angle very often. You'd have to be laying on the ground with your head on the ground looking at the race car from this angle, but it makes for a very cool drawing for a race car. It makes them look really, really fast. All right? Good. We got our guiding box. Very nice. Now, it's time to start shaving it away like it's a block of wood. So I want you to take the B line over here, and I want you to draw up, and then I want you to angle like this. See that? See how I kind of shaved it off? Just so you can see it better, I'm going to erase my guide line so that you can see the angle I drew. It's like a curved line, giving it a nice front end curve there. Very good. I'm going to darken this all up because we're ready to roll on this side. Ooh, I like this already. I'm telling you what, this is looking good. All right. Now imagine 
that this line we drew, we're going to call this line D. Remember this angled line? I'm going to make it red so you can see it. Maybe I'll make it green so you can see it. Doesn't mean that you should make yours green. I'm just doing it so you can see it. But remember that line? Line D. All right. What we want to do is draw a light line straight down from this back down to our road line. Okay? Make sense? We're going to start putting the wheels in here. Do the same thing on the back. This line E. This one right here, I'll draw it in green again so you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to draw that one straight down again. Okay? Now we've got some placement for our wheel wells and our wheels. Now remember, these are going to be dark or black on your screen. I'm just making them green so you can see them. I'm going to fix that up on mine, and we're going to get back to business. All right. Now, we need to draw an arch for the wheel well, right? An arch. So what you want to do is you're going to start on this line, go up, and draw an upside down letter U, like that. Notice I did not go all the way to line A. I stopped right before it. Left some space. What's an upside down letter U, right? Letter U, you just turn it upside down, out of the boot. All right, same thing on the back. Draw it right around that other line you drew. You can make it skinnier than this one. A little skinnier. Just gonna put it right in there somewhere. Very nice. Look at that low angle, that number 11 FedEx Camry. Oh, Denny's kinda out of parking space there. He needs to get in the right parking space. Looking good. I like how this is coming together. I'm going to add in the windows next, okay? So let me add in those windows. Alright. Believe it or not, I need to send a text message for work. So while you're adding in that line right there between the windows, I will... Uh, Answer this text message. You gotta keep working, right? Alright, back at it. So now we're making the window. Draw another angled line, the same angle as D. See that? Follow the same angle. It's making it easy for us to have these guidelines. And then connect the two. And I'm going to darken it up. And then I'm adding their back window in there. All right. Very cool. Remember, we're drawing the number 11 FedEx Toyota Camry that Denny Hamlin drives, because this is episode 11. <coughs> episode 11 of Let's Draw Race Cars. I'm Boris, if you're just joining us. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm here in North Carolina from my house. Stay at home, orders in place. Staying healthy out there. Hope you are too. And uh, we're drawing one of my favorite race cars, the number 11 FedEx Camry. A very winning race car. Now remember this triangle we drew over here for the windshield? Well the rear spoiler has something going on like that too. We need to draw a triangle and the reason is is that we can see this part of it close to us but then it angles away out of out of view and things when they go further away from us when we're drawing them they get smaller. Like if you were drawing a road it would look like this. See? There's the horizon line where the sun sets and that's the road. You hear my dog barking out there? You have any dogs at home? But we're not drawing roads right now. We're drawing a race car. So the angle, we're going to draw a triangle back here. Right there. That's the rear spoiler. 
The Denny's rear spoiler is white, and I made it black. I might have to go in and erase some of that. But just give it an outline like this. And now I have a white spoiler. You make the choice. It's up to you what color spoiler you want. But for Denny's spoiler, we're going with white. All right. Next. Let's do the wheels. Now, if you've been watching from the beginning, you know the wheels can be a little challenging. I'm gonna go through it quickly here. I encourage you to go back. If you need to leave your wheels blank, go back and watch some of our wheel lessons, okay? It'll really help you out here. And you can just leave them blank for now. All right, you can, you can go along, but I'm gonna draw mine. Try it if you want to or, to, or stop and go back. We're gonna draw an oval. So what I do is I do four dots that I can see. I'm gonna draw them red. No, I'm gonna draw them green. So you can see them. You don't have to do them green. I, I just do them whatever color you want to do them. But cut this wheel well into four dots. You know about north, east, east, south, and west? I have to do it backwards. Let's make sure I get it right. But northeast, south, and west, the four corners, right? Do that, a northeast, south, and west. The four dots around the edge of where a wheel would be. One, two, three, four. How's that look on your screen? I'm, maybe I need to pick a different color. Maybe we'll go with like an orange or something. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you don't have to draw an orange. I'm just doing that so you can see. All that we have to do after we do those dots is connect the dots with an arch, which a curve with a curve. So connect this one. And I'm gonna do an orange again so you can see it. Connect this one. That's not orange, is it? All right. Go up and up and at them. Connect. Then connect the top one to the one on the right. Connect the right one to the one on the bottom. That's the bottom of the wheel. And then the bottom to the one on the left. And now you have a nice wheel at an angle. It's more of an oval, right? It's not really a circle because we're looking at it from an angle. Do the same thing on the back. I'm just doing them in orange so you can see them. You can do whatever color you'd want. I'd recommend like a dark gray or a black. Maybe a yellow if you're going to do the Goodyear lettering on them. That might be what mine turned into. And then just fill in the center of that thing you drew. Now you've got a tire, you've got a wheel. I've got some weird orange tires, but that's okay. We're doing whatever we want here. I'm gonna turn them into yellow so that they look like the Goodyear Eagles spinning really fast on the race car. All right, next let me erase some of my guidelines, get things cleaned up around here. That's what we're doing in the world today, cleaning things up so we can clean up our drawing pretty easily here. Because that Denny Hamlin FedEx Camry is so bold because of that white and purple and orange color. Really stands out. So I want that white to really stand out on here. I'm gonna erase this guideline. We're done with him. Alright. Denny Hamlin race car coming together. I'm going to make my window a little skinnier. I can do that on the iPad. You might not be able to do that, but don't worry about it. I just had to make a fix on mine. All right. Last thing I want to do is make the bumper, the rear bumper, a little higher than the nose. So see how it's touching the ground back here? Nah, I don't want that. I want it to be up here. And then I'm going to make a little bracket back here to make a bumper so that Kevin Harvick or somebody tries to bump Denny. The car can absorb the bump and go onto the win like he did in the Daytona 500 for that, that first Daytona 500 win. See how, how that's sticking up in the air a little higher? That's how our cars are. It's kind of hard to tell, but see how it angles up at the back? Yep. Alrighty. Now, the fun part. The real fun part. It's been fun so far, but this is the real fun part. We're going to add the headlights and the front grille and the door numbers and the purple colors and the logos. This is really going to turn into this Denny Hamlin car right, right here. So while you're catching up, I'm just going to erase this and we're going to start drawing some headlights and the grill and all that fun stuff. Erase my letters. We don't need those anymore. That was just for you to see them. And we're back to drawing. All right. Let's see here. Headlights. I'm going to turn them like this so I can see them. Maybe I can rest them up on Martin's car. There we go. Pretty good. All right. I'm looking at it here. 
what we need we need a line that goes straight across like this follows the road line for the most part it has a little bit of an angle up just a little bit of an angle up but it goes like that now we know where to put our headlights and everything so our first headlight is going to start right about here and it's at an angle as well see that that Toyota Camry has a really aggressive front end really sporty really styling so the headlights are at an angle we can only see this one for the most part we might be able to see a little bit of that one but that's it but angle it up like that if you can't see let me zoom in we're in the nose of the car now we're angling it up and then the front of that headlight kind of comes like this see that it's like a check mark you ever draw a check mark like check mark that's kind of what it is so do that over here I'm just making a little triangle for that one we can barely see that one you see see how little of that one we can see just a little little tip that's all we're gonna that's all we're gonna have on there but on this one we have a check mark and then connect them up here like this there you go that's a Toyota Camry headlight right there started with a check mark now you got a headlight next we need the grid the grill excuse me so I'm gonna start halfway on the headlight about right there see that line I need to make a thinner marker here this is too too big see that line there about halfway on the front of the headlight draw a line that follows this line a little bit right to about there and then I need to make a u-shape right there okay I'll let you catch up headlight line goes over from the middle then makes a little u-shape about right there this is a tough one but you can do it I'm looking forward to seeing these I need you to post them in the comments or do whatever you need to do to get them to us so I can show them on the next episode because I can't wait to see how you do this finally connect the other end to the other headlight okay I draw on the front of Denny Hamlin's FedEx Camry I have it angled right here for me so that I can see what's going on helps me draw it when I'm looking at something you ever find yourself doing that it's a good way to learn how to draw things all right now we need we need a line now from the top of the headlight over to the other headlight like this see that all right you got it and then I want you to thicken that line up and follow the shape of the other line that you drew below it so if I'm drawing that line thickened up I'm then gonna draw a U again see the little U inside the U look at that see what I mean I'm drawing U's inside of U's here and then I'm filling it in so there you go you can see what we did there doesn't look like a camera yet but trust me it's getting there in about a couple more lines we're gonna have the coolest looking race car camera you've ever seen there's a wider look at what we're doing just so you realize what we're doing there there's the race car alright now at the bottom I just need you to fill in the rest of this line here fill in that line there with black got it you can make it a little thicker at the bottom if you need to but there you go all right a couple more shapes on the front here we need to draw a line like this that's what makes that Camry front end look so mean and menacing when it's coming up in the mirror of another race car they just want to pull out of the way so make a line that angles back like that got it yeah I like how that's looking I gotta read some comments I want to see how you all are doing because I'm having fun here I don't know about you but I'm having fun 
All right. Oh, yeah, a lot of people watching. Good to see that. Good to see you out there. Good comments out there. FAB, those are his initials, or his or her, watching in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Mike's in New York. Dylan says, Dylan has a dog, a black chihuahua. I bet that chihuahua barks a lot, Dylan. Susan's watching. Thank you. Good morning to you, Susan. Matthew's watching. Tammy's back. Larry is in Oregon. <laughs> Amy asked if I saw Denny spin his daughter out in the little go-karts they have. Yes, I did. That was so funny. I think we shared it on JGR, but I was dying laughing at that. I'll get a little sip of this tea here. All right. Now, believe it or not, we're just going to fill in this whole area with black. I know. I know it's hard to believe, but that's what we're going to do. So you can either do it now or you can wait. I know it takes a while. I have a, I'm cheating a little bit because I'm on an iPad. It's a little quicker. But the whole front end of this Camry is basically black. Now there's some grill areas in there, but we're going to make it black. I like to just do these cross marks and make them thicker and closer together. And it just fills up and makes a black shape. See that? Or you can go cross ways and do, do uh, make it even faster. So that's what I do there. Filling it in. Now, by the way, you can save this for the end if this is taking you a long time to fill it in black. Just save it for the end. I'm going to move on because we can't can't wait on everybody to fill in black. So I'm going to move on here. I like there's a little silver line there. You can put that in there if you want, but that's where I like it. Okay. Again, if you need to go back to fill in later, go ahead and do that. Look at that. Just like that, the front end of our race car looks like a race car, and it looks like a mean race car. That's Denny Hamlin's car. It's won the Daytona 500 twice. We're going to draw his trophy after that. If this is too hard for you, we're going to draw a trophy in a few minutes. But just enjoy this for now. Okay. I need to darken in those yellow wheels. They're bothering me a little bit, those yellow tires. I'm just going to I'm gonna add some swooshes in there. Because I do want them to look like the Goodyear lettering is flying around on them and going really fast. But I don't want them to look like a Halloween tire right now. All right. That's cool. I like that. All right, Denny Hamlin's car coming together. Next is time for the number. I don't know about you, the number is one of my favorite parts, and the number 11 is one of the easiest ones to draw. So I'm very thankful for that. I don't know about you. Number 11, you know what the number 11 looks like. It's basically two sticks, two purple sticks in Denny's case, pointing straight up. We want to leave some room for all this purple and orange around here, though, so don't draw it too big. So what I want you to do is actually lightly draw the number 11 on the side. You want to start right below where the driver's window ends. So I'm going to draw a red dot. You don't need to draw a red dot, but I am just so you can see it. Right here. See that? That's where that window ends. Can you see that on your screen? Barely? Up here? Well, take your black and come down and draw an angled line about like this. About like that. That's the back of the final one in the number 11, okay? Make sure you leave room down here. We gotta fill some purple in there. Denny Hamlin's race car isn't Denny Hamlin's race car unless there's a lot of purple in it for FedEx, right? So leave some room down there. All right, now draw another line about this width in the exact same space except over. The exact same angle, height, and, and, and Depth, length, draw it over there. Now we have one of the 11s, okay? The only other thing on Denny's is that they have a little kick out over here like this. See it? And then they go up and then you connect the tops. And then you connect the bottoms. Look at that. So we have one of the ones in the 11. Now all we have to do is draw the other one, right? So you know how to do it. Draw that same line, and once again, just draw it over here. Same line. Let's draw it over there. Number 11 coming together. We're doing the exact same thing. Now draw a parallel line, if you remember what that means. Parallel means those lines will never touch each other. They're going to go on for infinity. If they went on and on and on, they'd never touch. So they're perfectly side by side, the same angle. Connect the bottom with a straight line. 
connect the top with a straight line and give it a little kick out, a little leg. Now you've got the number 11. This is episode 11, that's why we're drawing this number 11 car, which of course is driven by Denny Hamlin, the FedEx car, looking good. If you've just joined us, you can see it's coming together nicely. We left room for our purple because that's one of my favorite colors, one of my favorite marks on this race car is all that FedEx purple. Speaking of purple, let me let me show you what color purple we're going to work with here. It's kind of a it's in between pink and blue. It's a darker purple. I'm going to go ahead and color in my 11. You can if you want to or you can leave it. But for now, I'm going to color it in. So you can see where we're going with this purple. Of course, Denny in the iRacing series has run a special hood that says, thank you FedEx team members. All those FedEx employees and team members working hard to deliver our packages, also delivering medical supplies and things for people in need. Really great things they're doing and they're, they're out there and taking care of other people, being selfless. So Denny's running a special hood in the iRacing series that says, thank you FedEx team members. There's our purple 11. Now we're going to go back with some orange, but I'm saving the orange for it for, for the end. It's going to really make the car pop. All right. Next, we need our other purple lines. Now here's the deal. If you don't have a purple color yet, you can just draw this with your pencil or your pen and go back later, or you can just leave it black and white. That's okay. But you can see there's a lot of purple angles on this car. So that's what we're going to draw next. The FedEx car. In fact, I'm going to spin it like this. Like Denny did a bad parking job with the other teammates up here, just so I can see it. All right. First, I notice the whole A post is purple. Remember, the posts are A, B, C. They make up the window, right? A, B, C post. I'm going to pretty much just fill that whole thing in with purple on that A post, and I'm going to make it continue down to the wheel well. See that? See how I made it continue down? to the wheel, like that. I can look over and see what you're seeing. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks real good. Then, imagine that line followed up over the front wheel. See how it's purple all the way up here? Well, find this point, that point there. Remember we made that by the headlight? What I want you to do is make a curved line up to the wheel top of the wheel like this. Curve, 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 curve. And then continue all the way up to the windshield. Boom. Look at that. See what I did there? Go ahead and do that. And then we're filling in that shape we've made. Filling all that in with purple. It's a lot of purple. Can't just be a blank white car. You gotta know what's coming. That Denny Hamlin purple FedEx car coming up on your rear bumper. You know you gotta get out of the way or he's gonna pass you. All right. Now I'm going to fill that in. Again, you can fill in at the end if it takes a long time to fill in with a crown or something. Don't worry about it. Just don't try to keep up with me. Just wait till the end and just see how I do it. And then you'll have plenty of time because i got to move on to the next shape. But I'm filling it in just so you can see what's coming next. Filling it in, filling it in, making it look good. Look at that. Ooh, gotta fill that part in too. All right, that Denny Hamlin car is coming together, looking very nice. Now the whole bottom here, not the whole bottom, but a, a line of purple goes along the bottom of this straight line we drew before. See what I did? Purple along the bottom under the 11. And then at the back, it shoots up to the rear spoiler. We're pretty close to it. It does something like this. Cuts there, cuts there. And then we have to fill all that in with purple. Okay? See, see, see? Again, you can fill in at the end. I am just filling in for now. If you need to go slower on the fill in, you do that at the end there. Stick with us. All right. A lot of beautiful purple in that FedEx Camry. I like it. Since we have our purple marker out or our purple pencil or whatever you're using to color, 
we're going to start the logo because the FedEx logo has purple in it. The first three letters, F, E, D, are in purple. So they look like this. I'm going to draw them on the car, but first I'm going to draw them up here. All right, F, E, E, lowercase e, and then a lowercase d. It's not perfect, but that's about the best I can do freehanded like that. See? Well, we're going to put it on the race car. We're going to put it right under this rear window like this. And I'm going to do it at a little bit of an angle. There's my F. Zoom in. There's my E, there's my D. Since we have the purple marker out, we're drawing the first half of that logo. EX is coming up next in purple. So let me, or excuse me, in orange. So let me get my orange marker as I finish this, make it a little thicker. Orange marker coming up. It's more of a reddish orange than a yellowish orange. So let me show you my example up here first. You draw the E with the D and the E touching back to back. Look at that, back to back. E. And then I'm going to draw our, uh, our X. So if you make all these lines the same length on your E, you can then come in and make an arrow Oh boy, that secret arrow is hidden in there. Mine looks okay. It's not the best arrow I've ever drawn, but you get the point. There's an arrow in there somewhere, and it makes our X. So I just make the X a little thicker. X is just two crossed lines, of course, as you know. And now we've got a little arrow hidden in there in that logo. Isn't that cool? Of course, I think I, my, my opinion is FedEx put that in there because they're all about going, right? Sending packages on the go. Well, so is Denny Hamlin and that FedEx car. So let's finish the logo on his race car. All we need is an E and an X, and it's finished. And I connect the lines, make the little arrow, and there you go. The race car is there, looking good. But of course, we need some more orange on our race car itself. It's not just in the logo. If you see, it's an outline. See the number is outlined in orange? And then you have the other purple lines are outlined in orange. Those are called accent marks, accent lines, and they really make it pop out, especially on the racetrack. So all you have to do is basically trace the outline of the purple we already drew with orange. The number, the shapes, the nose area. Look at that. Look at that come together. Can you see that? We're just outlining in orange. Same thing down here. Oh, these straight lines are kind of tough, but you can do it. Get a ruler if you need to, and then just outline the purple that you already drew. Look at that. I'm looking over at my screen to see what you're seeing. I'm liking what I see. Do you like what you're seeing? I hope you're going to post these in the comments. Share with me what you're doing because we're almost done with the number 11 FedEx Camry. I just have to outline the purple numbers. If you were waiting to fill in later, this is a good time after you finish your orange to start filling in your purple and your black. Maybe you're done drawing for the day and you just want to make this drawing perfect, as perfect as you find it. It's really up to you, however you want to make it look. But since Denny Hamlin won the Daytona 500 this year in this exact car that we are drawing, I am going to uh, I'm going to draw his trophy next. That's going to be fun. Look at that. Look how good that looks already. Wow. Don't you just love drawing? I'm going to make these tires a little more yellow. They're still bothering me a little bit, but look at that. Now there's Goodyear yellow spinning tires on there. Just going fast. And then even in the wheel, I'm going to draw some gray to make the wheel look a little more real. A real wheel. Really, really, wheelie, wheelie real. There you go. Make some swooshes in that wheel. Now we got a fast 
Camry. All right, it's moving. I'm gonna put some gray in the headlight to make that headlight sticker look real too. Maybe some dark gray and some light gray just to mix it up a little bit. Throw a little circle in there for the light bulb that's in there to make the, the headlight sort of shine. Maybe some swooshes in the window, even there's a window net there. But back here there's a tough plastic, not really glass, but a tough plastic. We're just doing some scribbles just to make it come to life a little bit. It's not really essential you do this, but I like to put the swooshes in there just to make it look like it's going fast. Oh yeah. Very cool. All right. How about that? So you see that angle? It's really low. It's close to the ground. Great job out there. One last thing. If you want to make this car look even more real, do some shading. Now I'm going to shade in the white of the door. I'm going to make it very, 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 very light gray towards the bottom. And that's just going to make it look like the car is real, like there's shading. So here's what you do. Really light gray. That's even too dark for me. I'm going to erase that one. And I'm going to go really light gray down here. You may not even be able to see it on your screen. But it's there, I promise. See how it's going just a little bit light down there? doesn't bother any of the other colors. It's just like if you had a pencil, that'd be the perfect tool to use for this. But it's just a little, a little bit of shading just to make it pop off the screen a little bit. All right. Another thing you could do in the background is you could add some swooshes around the car. I'm thinking maybe some light blue ones. And those would just make the white pop off the white page. You know what I'm saying? So it's on a white page and it's a white car. So if you do some blue swooshes around there, or other colors would work too, it's going to make that white really pop off the page. And it's going to make it look super fast. Which is the whole point of drawing a race car, right? Look at that. Maybe that's the sky up there that is just flying by. And now that white spoiler, you can see it so much better because it's got a bit of an outline around it and it looks like it's going really fast. I'm going to get a little more crazy. I'm going to put some purple up, up in the clouds up here just to bring it all together. Look at that. Going so fast by here. All right. Okay. You got to know when to stop sometimes, right? I'm done with this one. How'd yours turn out? Take a screenshot, take a picture, take a screenshot of mine, boom, I've got it saved, now I can show that to people a little later. That looks really good, I like it a lot. Okay, let's draw this trophy, this is going to be a little easier for you, I think, if you found this one hard. So take one final look at that, and I'm going to show you something else that we were drawing. If I can find it here, let's see, these are all of our drawings, yeah, remember we drew the... FedEx truck in the FedEx box a few uh, episodes ago. We just made a box and then we made another box and we turned the box into the FedEx truck for the deliveries. So we've been doing some Denny Hamlin stuff before. This wasn't the first episode. But now let's draw the trophy that he won at Daytona. Now I can do some magic here with my iPad. You can start on a new page, but I'm going to just shrink this one a little bit. Shrink this drawing if I can. Move it down to the bottom of the page. There we go. And I'm going to draw the trophy up here. Now I need to look at a picture. I don't know about you, but I can't memorize everything. I need to look at a picture of this trophy. So while you're finishing up your FedEx car, I'm going to search for the Daytona 500 trophy. And it is beautiful. The thing I like about it is that it's shaped just like the track at Daytona. So the Daytona track is shaped like this. If you're looking at it from an airplane, you've got, a, you've got an oval, or you've got two arches like this for the turns. It's like you have the letter C, two letter C's talking, and this one's backwards over here. Connect the top over here. This is the back stretch. The back stretch is straight. It's much straighter than my line, let me tell you. The front stretch goes angled like this. 
and makes what they call a dog leg because it, <clears throat> excuse me, it's kind of shaped like a dog's leg. And then Pit Road is here. That is a very messy look at the Daytona shape. Thankfully, when they made the track, they were much less messy than me, and they did a better job. But that's the shape of our trophy, too. That's what I think is so cool about the Daytona trophy. So if you drew that with me, I applaud you, because I didn't tell you to, and, and you need to. So draw that shape. I'm going to erase the pit road. And I'm going to clean mine up a little bit, because it is so jagged and wobbly here that I just need to clean it up a little bit. So once you draw that track shape, get back to me here. All right, beautiful. Draw on the Daytona 500 trophy that Denny Hamlin has won several times. All right, three times. I think I said, did I say twice earlier? Oh man, if he saw this, he's gonna be all over me. All right, you got your track shape. Remember you just draw the pill Draw a pill, like a pill that you take for medicine, and then angle out the edge like that. It's almost like a rounded triangle. A pill, and then a rounded triangle, okay? Let me just cut that. I'm gonna move it up here, so just so you can see what we're talking about. Now, go back to this one and draw a line down on each edge. A line straight down on each edge. This trophy, I'll show you a picture so you can understand what I'm talking about here. Let's see if I can get you a good shot of the trophy here. Maybe, maybe not. Let me see here. There it is. Can you see this? See how it's shaped and we're going to put a little car on the top? We're drawing the platform right now. All right. Now at the bottom of the platform, draw the same line that you have here. That's the dog leg shape. Remember that? Draw it the same way down at the bottom. It's kind of look like a hamburger. Did you know that Denny Hamlin has a cheeseburger, a hamburger store here in North Carolina? Trophy's kind of looking like a hamburger there. A little, a little bit. A little... A little bent hamburger. But it's probably still tasty. I'm making myself very hungry. I haven't had lunch yet. Have you? Man, sometimes I draw better when I'm hungry. All right, let's get these cars parked correctly up here again. All right, finally, we need to draw the car on the top. The car on the top is not like these race cars. It's like a rocket car. It's like a speed record car. So we need to draw a torpedo rocket shape up here like this. Straight line. Pointed nose on the left. And then a back end like that. See that? Rocket car. Then just give it some wheels. It's kind of hard to see them on my screen, I know, but it just needs some wheels. It's a very simple car like that. Torpedo missile shape. And then some wheels, four wheels on the edges. And that, my friends, is the Daytona 500 trophy. The next thing you can do in there is you can do some shading. I just get a pencil would be great for this because it's a metal trophy so you just draw some lines lightly that was too dark for me but you're just drawing light lines like this and you're following your shapes and you need to make some dark lines and some light lines and leave some lines white like this following the shapes come in here just scribble it in see this is really not a science, it's an art. You just put them where you think they need to go. Do the same on the car. Draw some lines in the shape and leave some white and do some dark and do some light. Just kind of scribble them in there and make it look fast. There you go, Daytona 500 champion Denny Hamlin. We got his trophy, we got his race car, we got everything we need here. Perfect. I like that a lot. How'd yours turn out? You happy with it? If not, you can always try again, but even if you're not happy with it, I want you to show me your progress. Put it in the comments, send us your drawings so I can share them on future shows. Well, thank you for watching. I'm going to go get some lunch. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. I'm going to get some lunch, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow at noon Eastern Time, every weekday, 
doing some drawing lessons. Tell me in the comments what you want to draw next. All right. Thank you for watching. This is Boris signing out.